Hello, I'm Tom. I'm living, working from home at the moment because of this whole corona situation and a lot in the world has changed quite a lot over the last few weeks. I've seen a few guys like make their own social distancing barriers and you know since I've got nothing else to do, um, I'm going to try and do that today. So this is what I'm going to use to make the barrier. So I've got this rope, I have some tape and I've got this saw. And finally, I've got this tubing. I'm going to get the tubing and sort of spread it out so it's like one and a half meters radius around me. I'm just gonna make a radius thing. How do I get it to stay? Ugh. God, this is... All right. But it needs to be, so that's one meter, but we need to make it that long. Cool. I think we've got one and a half, and then I'm going to cut it. I saw this thing online where you can boil the end. So I'll boil that to make it smaller, and then I can just slip it into the end bit. I actually have no idea how long I'm supposed to put this in here. Is it like a second or like, is it like 10 minutes? Okay, so let's take this out. I'm trying to get it in, sort of, it's not too hot. Oop. It's getting in there, it's hard to. Otherwise I might have to like cut it or figure out another way to put it in. Okay, yes. And then I just attach the rope with the sticky tape and that should be it. So we've done stage one, which is create the loop. Now we're into stage two, where we make something so it attaches to me and I can like wear it around. Um, need to come, come up with a catchier name than that for stage two. I think I'm just gonna try and get a rope, tie it to each end and then like wear it like a, like over my neck. Okay. So there we go. I need it to stand up a lot more. How do I get it to go up more? is I might be able to tie it onto here. And then once it's tied onto here, I can tie it over to that end. Okay. <laughs> Test number two. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do the uh, World Health Organization recommendation of one meter distance I think that's gonna be a lot better like structurally looking good you can chuck that away should we test it out see how it goes hey not bad it's staying up if I just do those ends I reckon we're kind of got it Test number three on the shoulders. Let's see how it goes. That's a little bit too loose, I reckon. <sighs> this is not really what I had in mind when I was imagining making this. All right, this is my social distancing barrier. Let me know what you think. It's not perfect. No, it needs to be around your waist and then you have straps coming from your shoulders. Yeah, Maria, what do you think? I it's funny, think but it doesn't look very practical. I've got a, I've got a better idea. You, you need to listen to me. Let me just get some pen and paper. Well, what we need to do is we need to grab one of these hoops and put make one round to fit your waist. Yeah. Similar to a hula, hula hoop. You know what a hula hoop is? Yeah. Okay, so we can start by doing that. 
and then we have to attach the ropes to this inner circle. And why is that better? Well, then you've got a radius of one metre. It's more stable. It's going to get rid of the bending? It should get rid of the bending, yes, yes. Why don't we just try it and see what happens? Okay, we're gonna try on the next one. It looks pretty good. Now we're making the shoulder strap. Is that done? Nice. Nice. Go for a walk. Stand over there, sorry. sorry. I can make it I can make it tight if you like. Lift a... What about if I do it like this? Yeah, well that's actually, yeah, that's, that's actually, yeah, that's actually, that's actually more solid. Yeah. I reckon this is pretty good. I'm happy with this. Kept no, the white thing. We're going out of the car, um, we had to squeeze the barrier in because it wouldn't fit in the car properly. So if you have a look at the barrier, it's completely wrecked, like I have to do a lot of repairs. It doesn't travel very well at all, which is a big concern, but I suppose I'm not going to be travelling too much in the next few weeks. So right now we're going to go to like a local shop and I think it's important and if you can during this time to support like local businesses and stuff that are still operating. Going off Some fans. Okay, so these guys also do coffee, so I'm going to grab a coffee as well as my groceries while I'm here. So I've just been to the local deli, I've got some groceries and I've got my coffee cup. So what I found out is that actually using keep cups in this time is not the best idea just because it's kind of dangerous because they can have germs and stuff on them. So that's why they're using takeaway cups only at this place. But I accidentally brought my keep cups so I'm just putting my cup in there. This is very impractical, um, getting a lot of looks. Um, Good looks though. 
yeah, getting a few laughs and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm gonna sort of see how this works in the house. Um, I hopefully won't bother my family, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, come on, Lex, let's go. Let's go. I'm scared. Alrighty, so what have I learned? Making a social distancing barrier to use to go out to the public is super impractical, so I don't recommend doing it. I just reckon just stay far away from people. So make sure you do follow all the health guidelines wherever you are. It's also just easier if you stay home. And thanks for watching, subscribe.